you know, I get it. There's a lot of us out there that can't choose what day of the week we fish. We can't choose the conditions that we fish. And some days are just unfishable. So I asked a question on my community tab the other day saying, what do you struggle with the most when you get on the lake? And a lot of you guys asked, you know, how do I get better boat control? Now, boat control and crappy fishing, they kind of fit hand in hand. If you're fishing anywhere from 12 foot or less, boat control is 100% a critical part of your success. If you're fishing these shallow brush piles, shallow laydowns, and you run over the fish, you're gonna scare them. Now, when you get to 15 to 30 feet of water, you know, the 15 is kind of iffy, but uh, the 20 foot plus brush piles, you really don't have to worry about the trolling motor. You just gotta kind of worry about, you know, the wind and staying on top of it, making sure you're fishing the brush pile and not just out there in 20 feet of water fishing nothing. So, on today's video, we're going to be giving you, you know, two or three tips to try to keep you on the fish, which is going to put more fish in your boat, and that's what this channel is about. So, if you haven't, hit that red button down below. You know, 80% of you ain't subscribed, so if you did subscribe, we could probably get to 10,000. It would be kind of easy. It is free, after all. And another thing, it is November, so... We're running the deal until November 15th. It's going to be an early Black Friday deal. You're going to get 20% off your entire order, and you're going to support my big old family and keep this dream alive. So head over to crappymanjigs.com. Get your order ready. You know, free shipping for every order over $50. And when you hit checkout, there will be a box that says apply coupon. Put in the coupon, crappy and you'll get 20% off your entire order. You know, getting ready for the, the winter time crappy. And guess what? Those small jigs, they catch them. And we, I'm gonna show you on the channel now. If you ain't ordered them, and I'm over there flipping all these fish in the boat, just drop my phone, it's all right. Then that's gonna be your fault. Anyways, guys, let's get into today's video. <laughs> ah, boat control. Man, oh man, it's one of them things that's kind of like second nature to me and I don't think about that I need to teach. That's why I love when you guys ask questions. I'm like, dang, you know, I do know how to do that, but I don't think about it. Because with me and my trolling motor or any kind of trolling motor that's foot controlled, like it's second nature to me to be able, well, I need to go to the left. So I, I, I back my heel down. I need to go to the right. I put my heel forward. I need to back up. I put my my foot all the way forward. It's one of those, I guess, second natures. But now with that remote thing, like the power drives, I do not like the power drives. You know, the spotlight is good. But actually staying on top of a brush pile while you fish, nah. That, that ain't a lie for me. But if it's a lie for you, you know, my daddy's kind of pretty good at it. But... Anyways, so tip number one, you know, if I if I don't get into these tips I got written down, I'm gonna end up rambling through the whole video. So tip number one, you find your brush pile. You've got your brush pile on your 2D. You've marked it with a marker buoy. Uh, you see it with live scope, whichever way you're fishing. You can jig your trolling motor. Yeah, I said jig. If you don't know what that means, Basically, this is your trolling motor, all right? This is the foot control. I don't know if you got foot control or remote. It works the same if you press the button. So you're on the brush pile. The wind's blowing you. This right here, this right here is the wind. So the wind's blowing you. Because you want to fish into the wind. If you have any wind, fish into the wind. The aerodynamics are better than the side of your boat. All this wind hitting the side of your boat is going to push you. But if you're directly into the wind, the wind's gonna go around a lot more. You're still gonna get blown around, but not as much. So you got your brush pile like right here. This is a brush pile. You troll the motor up to it. You're dropping down, you're fishing. The wind's blowing you back. Troll the motor up to it, drop it down. That don't sound fun. So what you do is you troll the motor up to it. You, you troll the motor up to it, all right? <clears throat> you fish, 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 fish. Once you start to feel that you're coming off that brush pile, 
just jig it. Tap the button. Tap the button until you feel the boat move just a little bit and let go. Repeat. Repeat. This is called jigging your trolling motor. And for all you forward facing sonar people out there, that is 100% the best way to catch the biggest fish in your lake if you're sniping fish. You get about 10 feet from them and then you start jigging that trolling motor. It makes it so it only turns about like that. So the fish don't hear it and they don't run and you can sneak up on them and catch those slabs. Number two, <clears throat> say you've got, you know, 10, 10 to 20 mile an hour wind. You know, I don't recommend anything over that. You know, stay home, be safe. But 15 to 20, it is fishable if you have the right type of boat. Me, I have a 14 foot boat. It, you know, anything over 15, probably anything over 10, I'm not gonna go out there and compete. I will find a pocket that doesn't have wind and find something in there to fish. But if you're out there and you're fishing in it, uh, turn your speed to match the wind. You know, don't have it on full blast. You know, you kick it on five, you're gonna run all the way up to your brush pile, and then the wind's gonna blow you back, run all the way, no. If you put it on like two or three, and if you actually, some trolling motors have the option where you flip the switch at the bottom that keeps your trolling motor just going. If you can match the wind speed to your trolling motor, you'll stay right where you are. So that's tip number two. Try to see if you can match the wind speed enough that you can either turn your trolling motor on uh, full auto or you can just keep your foot on the button. Or if you're using a hand control trolling motor, you know, same, same difference. Number three, a double anchor. I don't care who you are. I don't care how fancy you are and how much you don't want to be an anchor person. If the wind's blowing 15 to 20 mile an hour or even less, if the wind's not blowing at all and you got enough room in your boat to use a double anchor and you love fishing brush piles, you know, take your marker buoy, put it right up on that brush pile, drop one anchor in the front, one anchor in the back, get them tight, and you can sit there and fish that brush pile with no worries all day long. Uh, I don't use it enough. You know, I, I normally have one anchor in the boat that i don't know I, I never use it honestly i probably should start using it but me i'm moving i try to move a lot I'm, I'm more of a hit this brush pile catch the fish that's active at that time and move to the next one but if you're somebody that likes fishing minnows with like a slip cork or something uh you could anchor out and just fish that brush pile for a couple hours and you'll probably catch a bunch more fish than i would fishing it for the 10 to 15 minutes <clears throat> number four I mean you just gotta say it spot lock you know if you're having struggle staying on the fish just go buy spot lock it does not work under bridges but everything else you hit a button and you'll stay in that vicinity um, I've never been on a trolling motor I've fished with every trolling motor that is in existence you know, I go out dialing people's electronics, you know, teaching them how to fish. I fish with a Ghost, a Force, a Ultrax, a Terova, uh, a Vortex, a Power Drives. I have not fished with one that 100% keeps you where you hit the button. So, take that with a grain of salt. That's all I'm going to say, but the more wind, not the more wind. Like five mile an hour wind, spot lock does really good. But, you know, it doesn't keep you anchored, I guess you could say. A double anchor rig is better than spot lock if you fish a lot of brush piles. I'm just going to say that. Now, spot lock does have his moments, but we'll get into that one day when I get spot lock because I don't have it. Kind of like when them lives go think, man, it's my life's cheating. Lives go cheating. Yeah. But anyway, guys, uh, let's talk about certain conditions and how you approach them. You know, you made it this far in the video. I appreciate it. Um, if you're fishing a dock and you're having trouble staying on the dock, you know, 
it's it, this is one of them tips that you, you need to take with a, a grain of, of salt uh if you can position your boat to push into the corner of that dock and able to stay on the fish i suggest you do that but at the same time you're gonna run into dock owners that are POS's and they're gonna come out there and they're gonna exchange words but you know most of the docks that I actually do this with I've talked to the owners or no one lives there so take it with a grain of salt if you're fishing a lot of docks and you're having trouble keeping your boat in the right position try to position it against the dock so that you can fish without worrying about the trolling motor Fishing bridges, take you a piece of rope. Most bridges you're able to tie up to somehow. And if you can't tie up, I mean, just drop an anchor. Um, so that's open water brush piles, bridges. And if push comes to shove, go to the backs of creeks. Most of the time, the backs of creeks have little to no wind. I know right now it's blowing like i don't know 10 to 15 out there we just had that little hurricane come through last night but i could go right now to probably clouds creek and it'll be blowing maybe three four mile an hour so you know see which way the wind's blowing go out there and check it out these are just a couple tips guys if you want me to make an on the water video i'll actually put myself in 15 mile an hour wind the next time it blows if this video gets 500 likes which is really hard for my videos to do. So y'all got to share the hell out of this video to get 500 likes. I will go out there in 15 to 20 mile an hour wind in my little boat and put a lemon in the boat if this video gets 500 likes. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Yee yee.